Hello and welcome. In this video, I am going to explain you about the concept of inheritance. So first we will try to see a little bit of theory, what inheritance is all about. And then we will try to put those theory into practice so that you will remember the concept forever. As per the definition of inheritance, we can extend a child class or drive class or subclass from the parent class from base class we can say so that the child class will have the access of its parent class methods and properties okay let me repeat if we extend a child class from the parents class so that the child class will have the access of its parent class methods and property okay so this is what the simple definition of inheritance we can inherit one class from another class so that inherited class will have the access of its base class or parents class now we will try to put this theory into practice by writing a simple code now see on the screen you will find that I am declaring a class parent you can give any name I am giving the parent as a name of the class because the name should be self-explanatory right and in that parent class I am declaring one property int a as you know the default value of int is zero because it is two straight data type now I am declaring a method function void disp and which is just displaying a message after that I am extending a child class from this parent class from this base class and this child class will have a print method will displaying a message which is displaying a message right now in module top within initial begin block I am creating an object for child class this child class name and c1 is object and I am just allocating the memory for this object c1 is equal to new okay now I am calling the method of child class with the help of child class object c1 dot print this will print this child method okay now similarly with the with the help of same method same object c1 child object i am accessing the parent class method okay and here i am accessing the parent class property c1 is c1 dot a is equal to 10 so this c1 dot a will go to this parent class and assign 10 to this a prop to this property now this is what we can access the methods of parent class and properties of parent class with the help of child class object and we will try to run this code and we will try to see whether this is happening or not okay now just go to transcript and type a single line command called query log and file name what is file name class examples dot sv okay now run the code and we will see what the output we are getting we are getting the output as expected or not And this is very beautiful example where child is asking something to its parent and parent is answering something now see what child is saying i have failed once again what to do now now parent is answering don't be afraid to start over again this time you are not starting from scratch you are starting from experience okay and the value of a is equal to 10 this is what we can 
access the parent class method and properties from the child class handle this is what a very simple and interesting topic of system verilog called inheritance okay and on the other hand it is very frequently asked interview question so i hope you enjoyed this video thanks for watching